Uh, I'm just going to kind of skip through a little bit. I think they go to, like, Aang goes to Roku's temple. Which I like. That was all pretty, like, one for one, the way the temple went down. I think so, yeah. I, I think I remember yeah. most of that happening almost exactly. And then I think... Uh, I think he gets captured here by the by the bounty hunter, right? Yeah. In the in the animated. Don't get me lying, dog. I be I believe so. I think so too. Um But anyways, I thought I thought this was like the way they did the the way they did like the almost like the predator vision, I thought was done pretty good too. But that was pretty, done pretty yeah. well. Um, Roku. I thought Roku did a good job. Yeah. He's a little different than what I was expecting. <laughs> yeah. If, Just look at him. He looks a little funny. <laughs> I think Roku's face was thinner. I think. Yeah, he had a much more serious demeanor, I feel. Yeah. Uh, and, and this guy was a bit more of a goof. A joker. Yeah, a goof. Yeah, I think so. Um, I liked it. Oh yeah, here's the here's the predator vision. Thought it was pretty good. Oh yeah. Sick. Um Oh, this is I I'm pretty sure this happened in the animated series and I I like the live action version a lot because you get that uh just like just like the over the top animated faces happen when they're happy or excited that it's a it's a a problem for animators to capture human human beings being upset like genuinely upset because they care for something and I think the from anywhere from Iroh being upset about his son to being upset about Zuko to Zuko here being about um, that that division of that division that ends up you know being on his ship later. I feel like the live action does a better job of showing that emotion than the animated series could do. Like I don't think it's possible to animate it that well. Absolutely. Uh, it comes across much more genuine when you watch it in live action versus animated. Yeah, I think, I mean, the, the best example I can think of is like, you know, I think it's because in the live action and just in general, like people in real life, they don't go immediately from, you almost always go immediately to excited. So your face immediately animates to excited or happy. Uh, but in real life, when you're sad or you're or um, upset, there's usually like a very small pause of realization of what is happening. And I thought the the actor for Zuko did a good job of like, he, you know, his, eyebr his eyebrows kind of dropped just a little bit. And then he kind of looks down and then looks back up and you can see the gears turning, even though it's a script. And you can feel the, you can feel it like he's coming to the realization yeah. that, that this isn't right. And I just, I, I thought it was captured better here. It was really good. I agree. Uh, I don't remember what's going on. I know Aang gets captured and then they get put in this prison. And then, uh, then we get to see uh, Blue Mask. Is this the only time we see Zuko in the Blue Mask? Do you remember, or do we see him more than once? Yeah, I didn't remember him having the Blue Mask until they were like really solo dolo and bossing say. But uh, I was mm -hmm. wrong about that, because um, I felt like he brought that out to kind of do vigilante justice and bossing say when him and Iroh had the tea shop. But right. like I said, you know, it's been such a long time 
that I've since I've watched the animated series, I've really just gone back and watched the first season. Um, I don't remember exactly. Hmm. Well, hopefully we get to see him again. Like you said, I think he shows up and he comes back with uh, in Ba Sing Se, and uh, hopefully we get to see him again because I I like the I like it when he does this. It's like one of my favorite parts of his character. I I think that that mask is and and even Zuko or maybe somebody had said it where they were like you know you wear a mask so long you kind of become the mask. Yeah. And uh I feel like that that is very true in the show because you know the mask is who Zuko is starting to become. Zuko wears that mask when he wants to do the right thing, but he as a prince of the Fire Nation cannot. Um you know, which is why I think he did it whenever he did the vigilante stuff in Bossing Say, and when he does it here to save, uh, I mean, he does it so he can capture the Avatar, but he also knows it's kind of cheesy the way that they were going about it with, with him. Right. Um, but I, what I'm getting at is I just feel like metaphorically, you kind of see when Zuko's wearing the mask, he does actions that are a little counterpart to him as the prince of the fire nation and he kind of starts to grow more into the mask versus the prince of the fire nation yeah i think i think what happens right after this scene is is a good example um he's having like a flashback of him doing the agni kai with his with his father and uh you know his dad goes uh absolutely uh ruthless burns his son's face and then uh, i think like Right after the flashback, uh, Zuko uh, snaps at Aang and tries to like hit him with fire twice before the episode's over. Which, yeah, you know, I I like that they're kind of um, like leaning into the they're leaning into the confusion on Zuko and trying to make that. Uh, it feels pretty well paced to the to the animated. It feels really good. Yeah, I agree. And I, and I feel like that's kind of a benefit because of the animated show where Zuko and Iroh, you know, they're very involved side characters. They're not the main focus, but they're heavily involved enough that you see a bits and pieces of them almost every episode or very frequently um, versus characters like Aang and, and Katara and Sokka where they have you know, the show really focuses around them and there's so much to get in that you have to skip and speed up and, you know, that that's why their arcs can feel a little bit off. But, you know, Zuko and, and Iroh, it's almost like a one-for-one one of how much screen time they get or maybe even a little bit more on the live action, which is why maybe it feels at a good pace or or maybe for me even a little bit better. Um I agree. In the show, I, re I really like how they did it. I think the the gang gets kind of like short shrift because they can't have all that character development, uh, and because That's just too many adventures. And because of that, Zuko and Iroh get benefit from that, and we get the benefit from seeing that live. It's it's they're my they're my favorite characters. Like pretty much everybody from like that first group of fire nation from Lieutenant Lee or Lieutenant G. I can't remember his name. Uh, like this scene here where Iroh's like telling them how, how they ended up on the boat with, with Zuko. He's like, you're here because otherwise you would be dead. And yeah, you know, they're, that guy you hate saved your life. Yeah, that guy you disrespect and talk smack about is uh, you're alive because of his... Uh, he sacrificed his relationship with his father because he has a heart. And uh, you're the result of that. Put some respect on it. <laughs> and uh, they did. I thought this was good. I tried to... Damn straight they did. I tried to capture uh, Zuko's face here. Where you can see him, I I should have taken more than one, honestly. But like you, when you're watching it live, I could really feel like the lack of 
lack of pride and ego like he was totally baffled as to why this crew that has given him such a hard time is all of a sudden like showing him respect and you can see that he's at least at this point pretty resistant to the idea of like I deserve this he doesn't feel like he deserves it at all yeah, that's a good point um Anyways, let's see. I have no idea. Oh, this is the the thing that he got from like Roku's uh, shrine. The thing that Ko wanted. I still don't know what that is. I, I'm sure there's some lore to it. I don't remember. Um, and back to Iro. Iro finds the mask, and I think this is where you were talking about the monologue, where somebody was talking about we all wear masks. I think it was Iro that was talking and it was a good speech like it was it was excellent yeah it was it was really done well yeah and then uh got Iro with I don't remember what the context is here hmm. that was me watching his son's funeral <laughs> oh <laughs> oh <laughs> same same and then we jump back up. leaves from the vine. Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> when I want to hurt myself, that's what I turn on. That's that's the you put it on repeat so it can hurt you again. Yep. Turn it up since it didn't hurt you enough the first time. That's right. Got 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 rewind real quick. Start it over. That's right. Uh, back to Co. I, I'm on my last two. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why they're out of order. I don't know what the heck I did. Like this, this one here, where Zuko's saying what's going on, should have been before uh, this one, where he's walking down the line. I don't know how they got yeah. out of order. I don't. I have to look at it later. It's all good. And then, uh, uh, Ko being a creep. I thought uh, Ko briefly stole Aang's face in the animated series. Am I wrong? I don't ever remember him still in Aang's face. No? No. Hmm. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just saying I don't remember that. I, I have no idea. Don't quote me on that. I'll clip it and put it out there and see see how wrong I am by, by public opinion. Uh, I was I was a little upset at these three episodes that I don't have any uh, teasing videos to do. Uh, I haven't I haven't cut those scenes yet, but I remember like we talked about me doing like a cut where Kyoshi almost lands and then I just black screen it. And uh, the or you just loop it right to the beginning. Yeah, yeah, and then the and then the my cabbages guy. Like, just do the loop of, like, him reaching up to the sky and almost saying it and then have it loop back. Like, I I didn't see anything like that in these episodes. So, I'm not mad, but I am disappointed, Avatar. Nah, these, these were a bit more he heavier episodes. Um, you know, a lot more development of uh, Iroh and Zuko introductions of uh, Azula and her friends into the group Zhao really coming into a main villain role and uh, the gang was just kind of you know off doing side quests pretty much yeah that I mean you're you're not wrong that's that's exactly what's going on is they're like this side quest it's not not pertaining to anything one of the things Just a that I bit of lore. one of the things that I wanted to touch on, I don't think I got any like specific screenshots of it, but like they acknowledge in the live action that Aang is not learning water bending like he should. Like he says it more than once, so I'm not really sure why everybody's hating on hating on that aspect. Um But like when what we get mean? to well, like a lot of people are like, well, well, when they were at Kyoshi Island, uh, Aang is supposed to be practicing water bending with Kutara, and they, like, have examples from 
season one of the animated where Aang is constantly practicing with Katara and they don't really do that in the live action. And, you know, he they have an explanation. I don't know if I agree with it, but they do have an explanation. Aang says it multiple times that he's he's he knows he hasn't been and he knows he should. So, well, I just, I don't remember taking a screenshot of it, but I just wanted to throw that out there. Yeah. Hmm. I never really got that. I mean, I knew that me and you have talked about him not working on water bending as much, but yeah, I wouldn't see the reason for people to get butt hurt about that. Like, I mean, they got like a mad. A ton of stuff's been cut out. They got mad if he jumped an extra five feet in the air. So, I don't know. I mean, you agreed with him, so maybe you could explain that to me. Yeah, but I wasn't mad about it. It was just a a fact. What's a what's a fact? The interpretation of what he was doing at the very beginning of episode one. Is is what anime accurate? No. I don't know. I wasn't. I, I wasn't like mad. Is. Like I wasn't mad about it though. Like I'm talking about the no. guys that are like frothing at the mouth. This isn't. This show sucks. This show. This show's terrible. Blah 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 blah. Clip that. Yeah. Those guys just need to stop watching TV. They're never gonna be happy. Nah, that's just what they do with their life, man. That's uh, that's what the meaning to their day is. Just to hop on and shit on other things that people enjoy speaking, stealing people's happiness is uh, what makes them feel good speaking of which when are we going to talk about will of time <laughs> uh whenever you're mentally prepared to not froth at the mouth that's fair um well that's i'm out i'm out of slides this was uh, ep- episode three four and and five. No, wait. Four. How many did I do? This was four, five, and six. Sorry. Four, five, and six. So, I, uh, like, I, st- we need to talk about seven and eight. But, uh, yeah. We're already at an hour. So, I'm not sure what, uh, what else you got going on this afternoon. No, just, uh, gonna spend some time with anna gonna hop on uh told the guys that i'd play a bit of ranked with them at some point tonight so uh, nice that's really it nice yeah i've got to uh got to make up for lost time i've been doing a bunch of you know we've been gone so much so gotta try to try to make it to crim But yeah, I, I wish, mean, I think maybe. I wish you'd Sorry, stream. I wish you'd stream. Then I could. Uh, then I could raid your channel with my self. <laughs> yourself. Maybe if you get the uh, fifteen thousand views from uh, YouTube on here somehow, then I'll hop on and let you raid me. Or I could contact this uh, depressed plural tick. <laughs> Whatever his pay, name was. Pay him $85 for his views. Yeah. Yeah, I could just pay him. And then I could get a bunch of... But first of you got to give him your social security number. Oh, I'm sure. Savings so oh, I'm he sure. can save some Nigerian prints. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I would like to report that whatever I did the last time to fix my stream, it is uh, consistently... Like there may be some like quality loss on the viewer end, but as far as like what I'm sending out into the void, I have like zero drop frames. I don't think the audio skipped at all. I'm pretty happy with it overall. Yeah, in terms of audio, I'm not sure, but I am watching on Twitch and I have seen no issues. It's it's looked nice and crisp, um, other than your beard. Well, that's the that's the screen I'm on. <laughs> When it was, I know, fucking with you. When it was on just the black screen or whatever, like if I turn, I know you're, I know you're messing with me. Um, but like when I turn, 
the avatar logo off, then you don't then you don't see through it. 